So here's the latest FS UAE running on the good old 2021 MacBook Pro. Uh, it's the 16 inch model, it's the base 16 inch Pro, uh, the M1. And as you can see, 12 Foyer is jamming out there. And I've got this all updated so that um, pretty much like all my physical real Amigas upstairs, uh, it's mirroring how they're set up. So uh, yes, all of this stuff works. Browser setup, of course, it's a lot easier to set this up over here. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good, even for the browser. Pretty awesome. Let's go over here and let's type in a uh, good old amynet.net. Sure enough, ba-boom. Recent packages, let's check them out. Oh, look at this exciting stuff. Yeah, 2023, already people are uploading stuff. Some fonts, lots of fonts. Sorry guys about the wait, I'm having font issues. Lots of fonts, exciting fonts. That's pretty sweet, that's all working out. Of course, Opus I've gotten here. Um, I haven't gotten everything on here, but one of the things I love about FSUE compared to WinUE is just out of the box, it's so much faster to set up because it, obviously it's more limited. It doesn't have all the same features and it doesn't have the same depth as WinUE. But if you're just wanting to get your Amiga up and running quick, FSUE, and it's available on Mac and PC, by the way. It's not just uh, either or. I think it's even available on Linux. But on Mac, it's basically your only real option. And it's just so clean. I mean, the aspect ratio is perfectly correct. You know, look at icon, my balls are around, and it's framed up in the screen. And all of this can be adjusted with hotkeys. On the Mac, it's left command A, and you can just sit here and go through all the different aspect ratios to find one that works. It's so quick and easy to do that. The audio works great. Um, I've got my network share up and running. So for example, I fire up Lightwave here. We'll go ahead and just load up the uh, same content I loaded on those other Amigas. And on this one here, you're gonna see how fast this M1 can chew through this. And we're all set to go. Yep, same camera resolution, everything. Don't wanna cheat. Yep, okay, good to go. Smash the old F9. It's gonna filter through those images. And as you can see there, this is a 68060 with JIT enabled. Uh, it's quick, but you're going to notice if you're familiar with uh, PyMiga or even WinUEE with JIT enabled 68060 speeds, uh, it's faster, right? So one of the sacrifices you are making for this ARM version on Mac is the speed uh, is not so much the cheater speeds that you get with uh, those other systems. It's more or less... Um, well, it's kind of closer to real world speeds. So that's something you'll have to deal with. So just showing that there that it does work. It won't lock up or crash or do weird stuff. In fact, we want to see this like right away so you can get, get you the uh, the reward of just seeing a pretty image really fast and also verifying that it will actually show the image when it renders it. We'll fire this up just a little more uh, quickly here in a lower setting. So as you can see there, it's ripping through that pretty quick. So there you go. You've got the... Uh, Nice image at the correct aspect ratio and it's full screen. Looks beautiful. Yeah, 21 seconds for that, but that was really low res and chunky. So, yep, just wanted to give a quick update on FSUE status is a is a Mac Amiga emulator. It works uh it's working pretty well. Yeah, good old Vista Pro. Boom, look how fast that was. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. That's like that's just ridiculously fast. Was that fast? I thought that was fast. Was it fast? Was it? Let's see if we can load up a uh Load up the good old Grand Canyon, everyone's favorite. We'll target uh, this area here. We'll place the camera over here and we'll get a little uh, preview of what that's gonna look like. Oh, that's um, that's not good, is it? We're, we're like on the, we're, we're in the middle of the ground. So let's, uh, let's get us up higher here. Uh, how am I gonna do this? So here's one of the things you're gonna run into <laughs> using a Mac. You don't have a numeric keypad, um, good luck. <laughs> that's one of the problems so we hit p now and yeah we're higher up now so what i'm going to do over here is we're going to go to image quality and let's just go ahead and make it um ultra now we're, eh, yeah let's do ultra and for the graphics mode we'll go to the graphics panel we're going to do ham 8 of course and let's do let's keep it low res for now so we're ultra Interesting thing is it doesn't turn on um, pixel dithering, which can actually cause some banding in images if you don't use this. 
And when you use the preset, it doesn't let you control what version of texture it does. So let's find out what version it's doing here. Because there's a couple different modes to that, that texture option. Texture without an E apparently, but I guess they ran out of space, just like pixel dithering here is just pixel dith. Hey, look at that. Nice super saturated Grand Canyon with uh, apparently the Grand Canyon has uh, trees and grass in it now instead of water. So um, that's, that's, that's what happened to the earth. Apparently it gets trees and grass instead of water. Now that is super saturated. <laughs> so one of the cool things you could do is you could save this image and then take it into uh, Art Department Professional and you could desaturate it and maybe, maybe make it look a little more, uh, a little more realistic in, in the colors and whatnot. So, but yeah, just wanted to show that that was up and running and working. So here you go, that's it. We've got our beautiful Amiga 4000 3.2.1 68060 with 64 megs of accelerator RAM, 16 megabytes of Amiga fast memory, two megabytes of chip memory, running on our lovely Mac here um, on good old Holden Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. I'm done with this video, folks. Later.